Hello folks, Eddie Lazar here with Educated Veteran, and t I haven't been on for a little while, so here we go. I've, been, I've received several questions in recent days regarding LinkedIn profiles. Um, as many of you know, I'm a, a mentor on a, an incredible platform called Veterati, and you can find more about that by going to Veterati.com. Searching for my name, Eddie Lazare, and you and you can uh, and, uh, see me, and you can even schedule some time with me. And some of the questions that a lot of the mentees that I've uh, been coaching lately have asked is about LinkedIn and LinkedIn profiles. A lot of people have a lot of questions about their LinkedIn profile. Everyone knows at some level that having a good LinkedIn profile is beneficial to them, whether it be through for networking or be through uh, just branding and self being uh, more um, brand aware and being more available to be found. Uh, it's incredible. I'm not going to get into all of the great, wonderful aspects of LinkedIn and why I highly encourage every veteran out there, even service members. I think the best thing to do for service members is to create their LinkedIn profile and begin to build their network. That way, You've got something before you even get out. A lot of people wait to get out before they start building networks, start really focusing on their LinkedIn profile. And, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll use the term, it's, it's kind of a little too late <laughs> uh, to, to leverage a network when you need it if you haven't been building one along the way. So building a network is very much like, uh, you know, accruing money in your, in your retirement fund, right? It's something that when you finally need it, when you're finally at the point where you need to retire, you're glad that you invested all that time and money up front in order to invest in your retirement. However, if you wait till you're 65 to start, um, you know, adding into your retirement fund, it's kind of late, a little too late. So LinkedIn profiles. Now, what I wanted to discuss briefly is I do encourage everybody to get a LinkedIn profile. However, you'll see a lot of people out there advertising a LinkedIn premium for active duty service members and veterans for one year. Now, I'm not, I'm not here to discredit the premium account on LinkedIn. However, I really do find issue with the idea. Now, granted, I think it's great that we offer service members and veterans um, these little perks and these little discounts and all these other things. But remember, folks, if you sign up for that one-year premium account on LinkedIn because you're a service member or, or a veteran, whatever you use as part of that premium account goes away after one year unless you continue to pay, right? And what I've found is a lot of veterans, they'll take advantage of that. They think it's great. They forget about it. And then a year later, all of a sudden, they're getting, they're getting charged uh, to have the same services on their LinkedIn that they've come accustomed to over the past 12 months. And even though it's not incredibly a lot of money, when veterans are first getting out of the military, one of the first things I recommend is being very, very conscious about where you're spending your discretionary money, your discretionary funds on. Everyone's going to have reoccurring monthly Fees, whether it be at the, you know a gym membership or a, a, a magazine or a book club or you know the shit you know, the dollar shaving club or whatever it is right everyone has monthly recurring costs however when you're first getting out and you're transitioning out of the military you really need to pay attention sorry about that I just had a call so I would recommend there is there's very little that you really need a, the premium account for. I've never had the premium account and I've done perfectly fine with my LinkedIn profile using the the non the, the standard free version. Uh, I've got a very uh, robust network. I've got you know articles that I can write on there. I've built a pretty established network. Uh, I've I can showcase my work experience. I mean there's there's very little that I don't get. Uh, on the free version. Everything that I want to do, everything they need to do is available on the free version. What I don't get is I don't get some anal I don't get some really deep analytics about who's looking at my profile and what companies they work for. And if that's what you're if that's what you're all about is getting that deep rooted analytics 
and uh, the peek behind the curtain into every little thing, um, then maybe the premium account is for you. However, if you just want a good profile that you can leverage to build a network uh, to begin looking for other opportunities, whatever the case would be, then the LinkedIn free profile is perfectly suited uh, to accomplish those tasks. Don't feel that you need the LinkedIn premium account to do those things. You don't. So that's my tip for today, helping you become an educated veteran.